What's up everybody, Cole with Cole Miner Customs here. Today we're gonna to be going over how to laser engrave a leatherette wallet. Create with 614 was kind enough to send me a wallet. Um, if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Here's their website. And use this promo code at checkout. It'll save you 15%. Just to go over the wallet that they actually sent me. And you can pick one of these up in their laser good uh, categories on their website. Just a quick reminder again, the settings for this, uh, the laser engraving will be for the X-Tool M1 laser machine. Also check the description down below. It'll have the links for the machine that I'm using and the materials. Okay, first thing I want to mention is that you will need to take your bottom plate out. If you do have the riser uh, base on this, it will go on the second tier. So this would be like your first tier and then you have the second one. So that's where it will go at. Um, if you don't have one of these, uh, the riser um, base, uh, then you would just need to take out your bottom plate and set your machine up on open plane. Um, to make sure that you get the right dimensions and the depth uh, for it to read um, so the laser will drop down far enough to actually engrave in on this. I do have a video, uh, another video on that if you want to check it out. It talks about larger projects and, you know, and taking the bottom plate out and um, engraving things that just that won't fit in the machine itself. And here's a bottom view of it. You can see it on that part of the riser base. All right, next thing you're gonna to need to do once you get your program pulled up, uh, you will come over here to where it says laser flat, this area, and then you're going to select open plane. Once you select open plane, then you will actually come over here to auto measure. Okay, if it does give you this, um, and it may on certain materials, then you're going to need to take your ruler and actually measure this out and then manually put the distance in. You don't want to worry about manually putting it in um, if that is, um, if it's trouble for you to do that sometimes and to get the right measurement and your engravings are not turning out uh, correctly. You can always take something um, this is just some three quarter inch board and I'm actually going to place it in here and then put the wallet on top of it like so and then hit auto measure again. So also to mention the tape that I have around this is actually just to help keep the wallet closed um, so it doesn't uh, give me a false reading. So I'm trying to keep the wallet as compressed as possible. So uh, when I do hit auto measure, that is the true measurement that I need. So now that we've got that set up in there again, we're going to hit auto measure again and see if it gives us a measurement. So at that point, it gives us this measurement and we will do this again just to make sure that it is consistent. Okay, we're getting the same measurement. So then you'll take your image that you've selected, uh, make sure you get the settings and stuff for it uh, correctly. Um, I typically use the same settings that I use for my leather patches as that I would for something like this. Um, and that's typically your power is going to run anywhere from 20, 25 to 30, and then speed to 100. And um, one pass, of course and lines at 100 to 140, depending on the detail. Now I've got my image where I want it. And as you can see, this is the settings that I'm going to be using on this. Um, power 26, speed 105, and lines per centimeter 100. Okay, we're going to now hit framing. And what I'm looking for is I want the framing to be just right at the very top of where I place my tape because that it is where um, how high I wanted the image to be at that high. But also, too, I want to make sure that I'm centered uh, within my wallet as well. Okay. 
that is exactly where I want it. All right, once you get the framing completed, come over here, hit start. It's given us a estimated time of six minutes. And we'll get back to you as soon as it's completed. Almost fixing the finish up. I wanted to show you guys this in real time, just in case. So if I do mess it up, um, you'll see my mess ups. From what I can tell, it actually done really well. So. Things to remember, um, if the auto measure is not working correctly for you um, and you're not getting reading and it's wanting you to use the, um, the measurement uh, ruler, you can always set something up underneath it to actually raise your material up so uh, that the auto measure can uh, read it. Just to give you a close-up of the wallet, as you can see, ho hopefully the uh, camera's picking this up, but uh, very good, clean, crisp lines uh, with the image. And that also uh, depends on your um, the image that you've uploaded and the quality of it as well. Um, but overall, I'm really actually impressed with this. Okay, things to remember. Uh, you may have to take out the bottom tray, um, then place your material down lower. And if you're not getting a reading uh, by doing the auto measure that way, uh, you may need to set something up underneath your material to, just to give it enough height so the auto measure can read it. Um, also, remember open plane on that to get the true measurements. And two, uh, what helped was taping along this and actually compressing the wallet down further to give me a true accurate reading on the auto measure. Hey, if this video was helpful today, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you next time.